new correct map of the flat surface stationary Earth. This is a distorted bad picture of the author as well as illustrator of the map of the flat earth as he, as he saw it. Um, and I will read the descriptive key. This is dated um, yeah, November 1st, 1920. In the archives. All right. So about the map, he's saying, this is the true map of the flat stationary earth by a Syrian American professor, John G. Abizade. I have published this map to reveal the true posture of the earth, first to help the people in recognition of the fact that the earth is flat and does not move. Second, so that the young people in schools and in higher positions may have the benefit of the truth. There are many proofs that the subject is true, as you will be sure to find in my book, The Enlightenment of the World. I've got to check that out for sure. The theory of the round and floating earth is false, and you should not believe in it, as long as you yourself can see and feel that the earth is a plain object and is standing still, and you will see that the sun, moon, and stars are daily in motion. They arrive every day from the east to the west. The sun's light progresses from the south, advancing to the north, and returns in one year. On account of the moving of the sun from the south to the north, in return we get the four seasons, namely spring, summer, autumn, and winter. The surface of the earth is divided into five zones. First, the north center, which is dark for six months and is lighted for six months. Sometime in the future there will be some explorer who will cross it. Oh, like Admiral Bird. Second, the North Temperate Zone is the most desirable to live in. The most industrious and the most powerful nations inhabit the zone. Third, the Torrid Zone, Tropics. It's hot daily as the sun is over it always. The sun's body does not move out of the zone to a very great extent. Fourth, the South Temperate Zone has about the same climate as the North Temperate Zone. Fifth, the South Circle is dark and icy like the North Center, but no one can ever cross this circle as it is the edge of the earth and is dangerous to live. The South Circle is the largest of the five zones. Also, the nights are longer when the sun is moving near the South Circle, but when the sun moves near the North Center, the night is about eight hours in the north temperate zone, and the north center is lighted for six months. This is a proof that the north is not like the south in shape, neither the south like the north. If the earth was round as some people imagine, the shape of the North Pole and the South Pole would be exactly the same. Then the North Pole and also the South Pole would have six months of darkness and six months of light. Also, the sun takes more time to move around from east to west near the South Circle. Take a journey around the South Circle and another around the North Center, and you will find it a much shorter distance around the North Center which proves that the North and the South are not the same shape as people claim. After you have studied the truth of my work, you will know I am right. If anyone desires more explanation, I will be pleased to give it. And that was John G. Abizade, 1920. Even though we may not be able to ask him in person today, we have his book. The Enlightenment of the World. But um, this explains seasons and it explains the amount of daylight as well as night that the um, North Pole gets. That people have been wondering, well, why is it um, 
light in the North Pole for so long? Well, this is it. He's already explained it. On this side, you see um, he wrote in Arabic. Uh, he has these drawings, which when you flip it, you see that um, this is what he wrote. A natural proof by the water. Suppose you put five steamers on the ocean, as it is done here, at an equal distance from each other as far as I can reach, and from it measure the surface of the water from and to every point. You will find the same measurements. By this, you will know that the surface of the water is flat and level, and the water proves that the earth is flat and stationary, signed J.G. Abizade. So he has these steamers, one in each direction. And if you measure the surface of the water from and to every point, you will find the same measurements, proving the water is flat and level and it's the water that proves the earth is flat and stationary. And let the church say amen. Thanks guys for joining me. I will hopefully see you very soon. You take care and thanks for joining.